Hi, my name is Duncan, and today we're going to be talking about testing Angular 2. So I'm a software architect at SSW here in Brisbane, and I'm one of the mentors at Fire Boot Camp, where we teach people Angular online. And this is a picture of me rock climbing uh, recently in the Sierra in California, because if I'm not if I'm not coding, I'm usually love to get out and get rock climbing uh, to keep uh, fit and healthy. So. Today I'm going to be talking about the two different test types that you've got in Angular 2 and also the tools that help you do that and then we're going to jump into a code demo. So let's start off talking about these different test types and what are the tools. So there's two main types of tests. There's unit tests which test certain functions or areas or units of code. So really they're testing just little bits of your application in isolation. And then you've got end-to-end -end tests which tests how your browser actually runs in a browser simulating a, a user's behavior. So it actually simulates a user clicking on things and changing pages and adding and removing items and so forth. So when you run unit tests, some of the tools uh, that you'll use with Angular 2 are you'll use Karma as a test runner and you'll use Jasmine for your assertion library and a couple of other different things. And you'll use Angular 2 uh, utilities for testing, which there's a whole stack of new ones that are really great. You'll also use Protractor for your end-to-end -end tests, which is written by the Angular team, and you'll also use Jasmine with Protractor for writing your assertions as well. Now, the Angular CLI is not uh, actually a, a testing tool, but it sure makes getting set up testing for testing easy because out of the box you've got Protractor and Karma and Jasmine and everything set up ready to go, which on a real world project uh, can be a lot of messing around and sometimes take up to a day to get running and working. But there's also some secret source or a secret weapon and that secret weapon for me is Wallaby.js and Wallaby.js is an ability to get feedback on your tests in your IDE. So you might have a test like this, which is very much the test we're about to write and we've got two tests here and you can see on the left we're getting feedback that the top test is passing, we've got green squares and at the bottom it's failing and we're getting red squares and what's even cooler is in line we're getting this uh, error output to say why the test is failing and this is much better than the type of feedback you get in the console when you get errors. So let's jump into a code demo and have a look at what all this looks like. So I have Visual Studio Code here and I have a very simple application built with the Angular CLI and what that application looks like is this. It's just a simple table, we have one component, it has a H1 element at the top with the word, uh, the title card items and it has a table with two items in it. Uh, the first item has a cost of $1 and the second item has a cost of $2 and the total we can see is working and it's saying it's $3. But we want to write some tests to make sure that this total is correct uh, and also we want to write some end-to-end -end tests to make sure that we've got the uh, at least two items in the table here. So let's come back over to Visual Studio Code and let's uh, come over into the Explorer, open up the source folder, open up the app folder and let's have a look at what we have inside of this app component. So in this app component you can see that we have a title of card items, we have a total which is a property we're going to set uh, on our model by summing these two card items that we've just got hard coded here with a price of one for the first one and a price of two for the second one as we saw in the HTML here. So when we instantiate this uh, component, we're going to call this calculate function and this calculate function just uh, sums up these uh, two items here. So it's not so important for this uh, quick lightning talk to see uh, the code here as much as just to know that we have this title property we're going to test and this total property we're going to test and we have these items that adds up to three. So if we come back over into our explorer here, we have see we've got this app component uh, dot .spec which is just an empty file uh, and this suffix or this end of the file dot .spec .ts is a convention for writing a spec file or an individual uh, file of tests. So in here 
we're going to need to import the app component and we can get that uh, from app uh, dot slash app dot component and then we need to import the app component. So once we have a hold of that we need to put things in a describe block. So the way that uh, Jasmine works as a, a testing library is you have these uh, describe blocks. So you'll have a describe and you'll normally put inside of it a string that describes uh, the set of tests. So this one will be component and I'll just leave it like that. And then it takes a function and this function block is where you'll write your tests in here. And the way you do that with Jasmine is you do these it statements. So we'll say it should uh, be truthy is the first test I'm going to write and I can now new up this app component so I'm going to say let app equal a new uh, app component and this now I can make a test against this so I'm going to expect that the app dot to be uh, truthy is what I'm expecting here and you'll see that the Wallaby JS is running all the time here. That's what I'm getting these green squares. It's just running in the background. It's super fast. And down here it's saying I've got one test in my application and it's passing. But what if I was to come in and say this is falsy? Uh, we'll see that we've got a failing test here and we get this great output in line here. But what I'm showing you here is not necessarily uh, Wallaby JS at all. What I'm showing you is just basic unit testing principles with Angular 2, which is to be able to use Jasmine to do these describe blocks to have several tests uh, and this great output. So I could also just run this with the tools uh, that the um, Angular CLI gives us. So I could go ng test and it's when I do that it's going to kick off um, Karma for us and watch all of our uh, files that end in .spec.ts. Anytime any of them change, it will rerun the tests and output that into the terminal window here. So you can see it's a little slow to kick off, which is not so much of a problem. Um, the problem with it that I find is that it's really hard to read this output here when you get this big junked up console with your errors. So here we can see we've got this uh, same uh, output as we do in red from Wallaby up above, but it's much easier to read the one above. So let's just change this back to say truthy and you can see that Wallaby finished already. It's really fast because it's just testing this one file and I've got it running in Electron, whereas this one in the bottom is going to be running in the browser behind the scenes here. You can see uh, that there's a new browser window there and it's actually running in the browser. So that's now saying it's passed, um, that's great, but it's a little slow, so I really like the other. So I'm going to just kill our terminal window here by control C and clear that out. So that is the simplest way of writing a test here for checking to see if there is a component, but we want to check that sum function or the, the totaling, the calculate function. So I'm going to do another uh, it's statement here and say it should calculate um, and then in here I can just do very similar to what I've got above. I'll just come down and paste that in but this time what we want to do is we don't want to expect that the app is truthy. We want to expect that the app.total uh, which if we split screens here we know is three at the moment we can see on the side. So I'm going to expect it um, here to be three and this should work for us. So I'm just going to pull that over and we can see that it's working. Uh, but if I was to make this two, we'll see that it's going to fail and it's going to say, ah, oh, you're expecting three to be two, that's no good. So this is just a really quick introduction to how you can use Jasmine to write unit tests in Angular. Uh, you can go in a lot more detail into mocking, stubbing and uh, fakes and spies and observable streams and all these sorts of things and testing routes and events but for here we're just doing very simple simple isolated tests. Now just going to get rid of this and open back up our explorer and we're going to go into this uh, e to e folder here and we're going to open up this 
app.e to e-spec.ts. And this e to e or this end to end test is where you can write end to end tests for your app component and you'll need to make a new one of these for every page that you want to test. So let's give ourselves a bit more room here. And to do this, I'm going to need to import a bunch of things from Protractor. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm going to need to get elements so I can uh, do some querying. I'm also going to need buy to do some querying and also a browser to be able to uh, change page pages. So these are all just helper functions from Protractor that allow us to do a bunch of stuff. So this should feel very similar um, to writing a test in uh, Jasmine where you start with a describe block and we're going to say app um, page here is what, what we're testing and it just takes a function as a block and inside of there we can do some it statements. So I'm going to say it should have a title of cart uh, items. So that's the test that we want to make and I'll just uh, tidy up here a bit. So what I want to do is first I want to navigate to this um, actual page. So in this test I'm going to do a bra uh, browser.get which allows me to navigate with Protractor and I'm just going to navigate to uh, just the home page. So just a backslash for our URL. Just like we can see at the top here, we're not got any routing. So we're just going to navigate to this page and we're going to read this H1 element here that has uh, the text of card items. So to do that, I'm going to need to have a property for that. So a title property and I'm going to set it to element and this element allows us to do some query. So get me the element and I want to get it by uh, tag name. And I know that this tag over here is going to be a H1 element. So let's uh, go tag name is going to be H1 and I want to be getting the text for that and setting it. So now we're going to have this title text that we're getting from this query selector and we can do another expect statement. So I'm just going to expect uh, that the title is going uh, to equal uh, a string, oh, a bit crazy there, a string of cart items. Now I'm going to just make this pass for the first one just to keep it simple. But if I bring this over to the side here and I open up the terminal window and I go ng e to e this time, I can run an end to end test. So I'm going to kick that off. Now there's no nice tool here for being able to do what Protractor does. and it, I mean not Protractor, what Wallaby does to show us the tests um, lighting up on the side here and that's kind of probably for good reason because it's a very different type of test. This is actually testing in the browser and simulating interacting with the browser. So they're usually longer running and usually you, you don't necessarily get feedback you know, as you're writing them. Usually they take a while to run. So you can see this is taking a fair, fair bit of time just to kick off um, Protractor. You can see there it's opened a browser for us and it very quickly ran the tests and ran that one test and saying hey success we have got a passing test we have the right title that we wanted to see. So that's fantastic and that's just a very brief um, code demo uh, for us to have a look at there. So we've had a look at uh, testing types, unit tests and end-to-end -end tests and we looked at some of the tools with Karma, Protractor and Jasmine and we had a bit of a look at a code demo. So. My name's Duncan, uh, you can find me on Twitter at, at DunkHunter and you can get these slides at bit.ly slash testing angular2brisbane2016 and cheers, thanks.